Okay, hello there you guys, your girl Eunice Marie here, and so I am back with another video. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Eunice Marie, and my channel is all about informative beauty from skincare, hair care, makeup, DIYs, all that fun stuff. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell so you're notified when I upload, and if you like what I do here on my channel, give your girl a big thumbs up and share me with the world, okay? So, I'm going to be having, um another part of this video actually showing me using the product but first I just wanted to go over what this product is about because I didn't do that in the video so if you're wondering what we're talking about today we're going to be talking about the Miel um, pomegranate and honey curling custard curl sculpting custard and I was looking for something new to style my hair you guys know the deal I like to try new things when it comes to styling and getting curl definition so this is um, so it's prime and defined now our pomegranate and honey collection is a prime defined styling system formulated for thick curly type 4 hair however perfect for any curl pattern pomegranate or honey our honey curl sculpting custard is a lightweight, easy to finger comb formula for long lasting, deep definition and a brilliant shine. So the definition is adding deep and then the product consistency is about a light. I like that they show you on the back a little bit of a chart here for you to kind of gauge and see if the product is for you or what you are looking for. Now I purchased mine in CVS for about $12.99. I think it was somewhere around there. I'm not too sure. I think it was like $12.99 or so um, in CVS. And so directions with this is to apply to wet hair, preferably using their leave-in conditioner. But I did use my own leave-in conditioner for this before styling. Um, and then for best results, they say to apply the mint oil, but it is optional. Um, they have a mint almond oil, but it's optional if you want to use that. And then um, it says after palming while hair is still wet for added conditioning and reduced potential flaking so it defines curls by applying curl sculpting custard to dripping wet hair take small sections and apply generously fingering the product through the through and coating the strands evenly allow hair to air dry or use a diffuser for some added volume all right and this is typically used as um to style wash and goes and style as desired so i like the fact that they do tell you back here exactly what this is good for um, because sometimes when trying new products you're not too sure if they are appropriate for washing goals and things of that sort so now that we know what the product is all about and if you don't know what size this is this is a 12 ounce so now we're going to jump into the video of me showing you guys how i use this in my hair and then i'm going to be back and i'm going to share with you guys my final thoughts stay tuned okay you guys no laughing y'all better not laugh at me but this is what my hair is looking like currently um it is very dry very stiff and there will be another video talking about why my hair looks like this because i tried a product and i'm kind of heartbroken because it's by a brand i really do like but it's just my hair is so dry it's so stiff there's no definition to it and so we're going to fix this okay we're going to fix this using a new product that I ran across today in CVS and it's the Miel Organics. Yes, I've heard a lot about their uh, curl custard. I heard this was really, really great at giving you good definition, great definition. Um, I heard this was really great at giving you a lot of definition. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix this hair right now with that. And so let's get into it. I'm going to use some of this um, silicone free leave-in by Shea Moisture. I'm really trying to use up all of my uh, products before I buy anything else. And I do have a full review of this as well. Link will be above and down below. Thank you. 
And I'm just making sure that my hair is kind of thoroughly combed out or separated by just using my fingers and the conditioner. My hair is not super wet. It says on here dripping wet hair. Um, so I'm gonna try to get my hair as moist as possible. Not too wet because y'all, my hair takes forever to dry. Um, so we're gonna moisten it a little bit more. And this stuff smells really good. I feel like I'm all over the place in this video. But this stuff smells divine. Oh my gosh, it smells, it smells like candy. It smells so good, but this is what it looks like so I don't spill it. It reminds me a lot of um, the Twisted Sisters. I don't know if you guys know the Twisted Sister gel. Um, it reminds me a lot of that, um, the consistency of it. So I'm just going to grab a little bit on my fingers and we're going to start in the back here. And we're just going to rake it through a small piece. It feels really good applying it. It has a nice slip. It's not sticky. I don't feel any stickiness from it yet. nice uh, hold a really nice slip and I like that texture shot real quick and I'm gonna continue to do this to the rest of my head Okay, you guys, so my camera lost battery while I was still recording, putting the product in my hair. Um, there's a lot of good things like about this product. It glides very well. Um, I do have some great curl definition going on. Uh, I may have a buildup issue, though, because I am placing this on top of another product. Um, not the best way to test out a new product, but I wasn't going to rewash my whole head. Sorry, not sorry, but I'm just going to go ahead and turn around and let you guys see exactly what it looks like in its entirety. Um, I'm going to come back tomorrow and show you guys how it looks as well because my hair is going to take some time to dry and while it is drying, um, you know, I'll be able to kind of tell more of what I stand, where I stand definition wise. Um, also too, I may like tie it up tonight so that I can stretch the hair for tomorrow and if you are curious somebody asked about a length check with my hair or a hair update this is where my bangs are so far my bangs do get pretty long um they're like there i usually cut them too to about here um once every year or so because i like to wear my bangs um the back is I think the back is like normally where it is. It's not really too long. Um, but my hair, I mean, my hair grows. It breaks off. So I don't really uh, pay too much mind to, what is it, length. Um, because that would drive me nuts. I just make sure that my hair is moisturized. It is not breaking. And it is as healthy as it could be. Um, but I am going to kind of hold off on doing length videos for some time. Because... I don't want to really concentrate on that and I feel like I get really frustrated with length 
<laughs> with me um i get really frustrated when it comes to length like it frustrates me it just drives me nuts but i'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for a couple of hours and then i will come back tomorrow and show you what it looks like its entirety and i would love to wear my hair like this but i know when it dries it's gonna and it's gonna like a little mini i don't know afro but anyways hope you guys um but anyways i'll be back tomorrow so stay tuned <laughs> Okay, you guys, so this is a a couple, a day later, almost two days later, like a day later or so. And this is what my hair is currently looking like. Let me show you guys what it looks like. The only thing I did was added some oil into it. I added some, what's it, grapeseed oil into my hair just um, to kind of loosen it up because my hair was a bit stiff a little bit. So I did use some um, grapeseed oil. No, 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 I used castor oil. I used castor oil to kind of loosen up the hair a little bit and that worked perfectly fine. So what do I like about this product? I do like the fact that it does give me definition. Definition is good, I like that. Um, it does seem to make my hair, I say a little flat, but my hair naturally, when I put product in it, it kind of weighs it down. And usually after a couple of days, it kind of fluffs up and becomes back to looking voluminous. So I'm not gonna really say that this is the reason why. I'm gonna just say that's my natural hair. Um, what else? I do like, what else do I like about this product? Smell, oh, it smells freaking delicious. It smells like somebody's, it smells really good. It reminds me of something though. But it smells, oh, it smells divine. Like, oh, it smells like tropical. I love it. So there are a few cons that I do have with this product. Now, if you can tell, I do have, let me see. I do have buildup on my hair, if you can see, especially right here. So this product will build up. I did get heavy handed in certain areas with this product. But next in mind, or if you're going to use this product, keep in mind that it will build up and you can end up having flaking. Um, even when I did apply castor oil to it, I still had a little bit of flaking. Um, but even with castor oil, my hair did soften up a lot. And yeah, what else did I not like about this? Oh, I didn't like the fact that it left like this film on my fingers. That really bothered me. I had to actually go and really wash my hands. But I mean, that's minimal. Those are, I mean, the film on the hands and the uh, buildup is minimal because you can kind of work with those things. But I definitely would say that you should um, not use too much and then make sure that you wash your hands after because it does leave like a residue on your hands that really just bothered me. But all in all, I do like this product. Will I buy it again? I would buy it again. The consistency, blah. the consistency of it really reminded me of Twisted Sisters. I don't know if you guys remember my review on that gel, which I can't find anywhere. I actually hit them up, so they told me to check out some type of store locator, which I'm gonna look at. But consistency is really slick. It's really easy to put through your hair and all that. So I do like it. It's not heavy. It's very lightweight, but you just gotta watch out for that buildup, all right? And with that being said, you guys, that is my review of the Miel Pomegranate and Honey uh, Curling Custard or Curl Sculpting Custard. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in a later video. Bye.